This video is meant to support you writing your end of the unit claim evidence reason. So this is a piece that we're doing that at the end of every unit you're going to write about what grade you think your notebook deserved and then provide evidence to support that claim and the reason why that deserves that grade based on the rubric. So first off, the end of the unit, CER, there's expectations in your notebook on expectations of a notebook of a interactive science notebook so you can see that this is just the very basics here so the expectation it is typed and color coded we always recommend that you do it on google docs so that if you lose it you can always find it somewhere and make sure you label them properly such as end of unit cer seventh grade unit one photosynthesis you know or something like that so you can distinguish between the different unit CERs in each grade level because you're going to have them sixth through eighth grade here. Also they're going to be color coded. Once again claim is in red. You're going to state the grade you believe you deserve based on the rubric on page one. You're going to provide evidence from specific pages in your notebook. You're going to identify the page and the name of the page and you're going to back up your claim and then you're going to look at the rubric and you're going to give a basically state why you met the criteria for that grade. So let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look over the interactive science notebook rubric on page one. Here is a handy visual of the rubric that we're going to be providing you so that you can see that you're being, um, you know, you have a depth of understanding, not just that you're consistently just in one area. A lot of people just like, I use color, I use color, I use color. But it's like we want to also see interactivity. We want to see understanding, you know, neatness. So we want to see all of these pieces, not just arguing from one particular strand, such as color, color, color. So you're going to look through your notebook and you're going to find evidence um, from your interactive notebook to support your grade. So let's start about the claim. So you're going to make a claim on your grade. There's multiple ways you can say this, but your claim is pretty just straightforward. You're basically just saying your grade that you think the notebook deserves. And you're looking at the notebook as a whole, not just page by page and pick, oh, this page is an eight and this page is a nine. I want, we want an overall grade for the notebook because you're going to just get one grade representing your notebook. So here's three ways to say the same claim. My notebook, my interactive science notebook, for unit two, thermal energy deserves a B. For unit two, thermal energy, the notebook should earn an 85%. I think my notebook is pretty darn good for unit two, thermal energy. So these are all saying the same thing. Then we move into the evidence section. Look at your notebook and pick pages that reflect the quality of your work. We want you to pick pages that reflect the general quality. Sometimes you have a really great page and you're like, oh, I'm gonna write about that. But if that really doesn't represent your overall work, you're not going to get an A, even though a particular page might be totally awesome. So think about what, what in general reflects the quality of work. So what specific pages um, show that you are addressing understanding, interactivity, neatness, organization, and cross-cutting concepts? So you're going to pick four pages, and so hopefully within those four pages that you've done, you can show and argue that you are covering all parts of the rubric not just color, color, color. Also think about when you're choosing the pages, how do these pages show evidence mentioned above? Oh, this page really shows that I have a deep understanding. I can see my vocabulary. Um, you know, I can see the quality of my writing's really deep. I show your revisions. Um, so look at the, the visual rubric. That might help you best to select different aspects, different pages from your notebook. So with the evidence, you're going to pick four pages from your notebook, two from the left side and two from the right side that you're going to write about. Make sure, as I said, you don't use the same argument over and over again. So look for evidence that show understanding, interactivity, color, neatness, as well as a cross-cutting concept. If you are kind of looking for a C to a B range, B being 85%, um, you can write about three of those four pages. If you're looking more for a solid B and you want to make sure you're there to an A plus, you're going to write about all four pages. So for example, here might be an example of an evidence, um, one piece of evidence. 
So you might do this where you're like, here's evidence number one for the balloon freeze model on page 30. So you're clearly stating the page and the page number. I showed my understanding of the content by creating a model that used several modeling tools, such as zoom-ins, to show how the energy changed in the molecules. You can see that this student also used vocabulary here. I also use color in a meaningful way by adding a key to show how the energy affected the shape of the bloom. I also interacted with the text by asking a question. So I can see down here, I wonder why, and the person even tried to answer their question. When you get to the reason section, you're going to use words directly from the rubric on page one or from the visual rubric to explain why what you did earns the grade that you are arguing for. For example, my interactive notebook deserves a B because I did an honest reflections, but I didn't always have a deep understanding of the content. I did add color and I used the developing ideas color, the poster that we have in the class, but besides that, the color wasn't often meaningful. If you're tending to use the developing ideas colors that we're suggesting, you're probably going to be at a B, but we want to see if you're going for an A, you have to think about how can you go further than that. Um, to show interactivity to get up to an A. So once again, look at the rubric and see what that looks like. So once again, you'd look here, if you're trying to get an A, you should be consistently across this column, not just one here and, oh, I use color, but da 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 da, da. So trying to think, like, if you're getting in an A+, you're going to be consistently over here um, in that category. And lastly, after you do that, you're going to print it out. Remember to print uh, it out uh, in color if you have a color printer, but most people don't. So if you don't, you print it out in black and white, and then you remember to go back in and add the color and the CER colors, the red, green, and blue. So for example, here's your claim, and then you might just go evidence one, evidence two, evidence three, and that could all be just in black, but you're at least showing us the evidence parts and um, green and then th your reason down below. So I hope that's helpful. We look forward to seeing your end of unit CERs and this is an ongoing developing project so we might make some adjustments to this as we go but this is at least a good starting point for what we're doing.